Don't ever let somebody tell you you can't do something. Not even me. You got a dream, you got to protect it. Hey, Zanzi. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we are diving deep into a topic that affects millions of South Africans. Imagine a country where owning a home remains a distant dream for many while big corporates rake in profits. Yes, we are talking about the hidden agenda behind affordable homes built to rent and the big players pulling the strings. Stick around to find out how this secret plan could be crushing the South African dream. Let's start with the South African dream. For many, it's about owning a piece of land, having a home to call their own, and building a legacy for future generations. But in recent years, this dream has become increasingly elusive. Skyrocketing property prices, economic instability, and the joblessness is on the rise in South Africa. Have made ownership a distant reality for many South Africans. To address this housing crisis, the government and the private sector introduce a wave of affordable housing projects. On the surface, these developments seem like a beacon of hope. They promise modern, well-constructed homes at prices within reach for the average South African. But there's a catch. Many of these homes are built to rent, not to own. The build to rent model is gaining traction across South Africa. Instead of selling homes, developers and investors rent them out, creating a steady stream of income. This model isn't inherently bad. After all, it provides housing for many who can't afford to buy. But there is a darker side to this trend. Let's talk about the big players behind this movement. Corporations like Boeing Properties, Growth Point, and other major real estate investment trusts have invested heavily in build-to-rent projects. These companies are driven by profits, and renting homes yields higher and more consistent returns compared to selling. For instance, Growth Point Properties, South Africa's largest listed property company has shifted significant resources into residential rental projects. Their development often targets middle-class South Africans who might otherwise have considered buying a home. By locking these individuals into long-term rental agreements, these corporations ensure a continuous revenue stream. While these companies profit, ordinary South Africans are left with limited options. Renting means they are continuously paying for a roof over their heads without building equity or securing a future investment. It perpetuates a cycle where individuals and families remain dependent on landlords and able to break free and own their homes. Furthermore, the focus on rental properties drives up rental prices. As demand for affordable rental homes increases, so do the rents. This puts additional financial pressure on tenants, making it even harder for them to save up for a down payment on a house. These homes are branded as affordable, but let's unpack that term. Affordable for who? The monthly rent might be within reach for some, but over time, the cumulative cost of renting far exceeds the price of owning a home. Tenants end up spending a significant portion of their income on rent, leaving little room 
for savings or investment. So, what can we do about this? Awareness is the first step. By understanding the dynamics at play, we can advocate for policies that promote home ownership and protect the interests of ordinary South Africans. This includes pushing for affordable housing projects that offer rent to own options, where rental payments contribute towards eventual ownership. We can also support community-driven housing initiatives and cooperative housing models that prioritize people over profit. These alternatives can provide more sustainable and equitable housing solutions. The South African dream of home ownership should be within reach for everyone, not just for a privileged few. While build to rent development provide short-term relief, they are not a long-term solution. We need to hold big corporations accountable and push for housing policies that truly benefit the people. Comment below with your thoughts on this issue and don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more insight on the issues that matter most to South Africans. Thank you for watching and let's keep the conversation going. Watch the next video for more insights on burden wealth through real estate.